Historic U.S. Bank Stadium is the one of the best, if not the best, stadiums in the National Football League. It's one of the best stadiums in the entire world. And frankly, the game day experience... It's something beautiful, man. Even though us personally, we don't get to a lot of games because we're, we're here. You want us on this wall. You need us on this wall uh, in studio uh, waiting to do up the, the winners and the losers uh, video. Lewis seen his number one winner, even though he got hurt today. Mm. Uh, but uh, the game day atmosphere, the bomb, bomb, skull chant that we stole from Iceland. That's right. Get a real island, man. Uh, as well as the the uh, the Gallahorn, the the entire thing. It's fantastic. I also love the design. Love the glass that kills birds. They know what they did. Uh, as well as uh, the whole aesthetic. Like it, it's it, it's great downtown. It's great for transportation. It's very easy to get in and out of uh, with all the interchanges uh, there near the highways. And it, overall, it's a really good uh, game day experience. Uh, and the Athletic, uh, they did up a their annual list of. NFL stadium rankings, all 30 NFL venues from best to the worst. The worst. Now, this is a gaggle of the athletic NFL beat writers, so their perspective is a little bit different. Now, their stadium rankings isn't necessarily going to be synced up with the fan perspective, right? So, I mean, they're, they're beat writers. You know, they drive they drive their rental car on the road, you know, the little Hyundai Elantra after staying at the Courtyard by Marriott, after flying in on Spirit Airlines, and you're there to write their gamer. And if you give them some good free food uh, and their, their press box seat is... Uh, is comfortable. I mean, they'll they'll be good to go. I mean, but th- they did a top five, bottom five list, and looky looky, here comes looky. Lo and behold, U.S. Bank Stadium numero uno for the second year in a row. Gotta love it, man. Also, what's impressive is that new stadiums, uh, you know, like SoFi, like Allegiant, have opened up, and U.S. Bank Stadium just. Mm, still number one. That's right. Uh, Vikings uh, seating capacity sixty six k. Google review four point seven stars. <laughs> Who, who 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 gives it one star? Like Packers fans? I don't know. Uh, this wasn't even close. Half of the voters placed it number one in their rankings. Uh, it also topped our list three years ago. Although it's an indoor venue, half of the roof is transparent and the wall behind the end zone facing downtown Minneapolis is glass, allowing a considerable amount of natural light. Oh, it's like, oh, okay. So it's like it's like a Zillow listing. It's like lots of natural light and lots of room to entertain. It opened in 2016, making it one of the league's newest stadiums. It also helps the Vikings do an excellent job with their pregame and in-game presentation. Also, uh, yeah, the game day ops, you know, especially when it comes to the media, like they're very good. Uh, the spread is always great, and uh, overall, like the information that is relayed to the beat writers is uh, pretty top-notch as well as um, yeah, the fact that. The Vikings recently hosted a Super Bowl uh, within the memory of a lot of the beat writers. I mean, that certainly is baked in, uh, even though. A lot of them had to stand outside waiting for credentials, which is kind of funny. But uh, you know, th- that certainly does factor in. Uh, so, you know, the Vikings at U.S. Bank Stadium clocking up in there. Now, the only way to make this better is if they had uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium uh, food prices. I mean, that, that's something's great about the Falcons. Also, do you know that uh, beer at MBS is 5 bucks? I mean, I... I that's really the only way to be able to take in a Falcons game is you have to stuff yourself to the gills as well as be blackout drunk. That's the only way Hot Lana is getting down with the Falcons, especially with Desmond Ritter, even though Desmond Ritter's my guy. Mm. Uh, but also, it, the only way that U.S. Bank Stadium could improve is with a home NFC title game hosted. That's right. With the doors open, by the way. Yeah, you remember when the stadium opened? And the whole thing was like, well, our advantage is that we can open up the doors and the cold will come in. They haven't done it. They, they have never opened up those damn doors. I'm surprised that Zimmer didn't do it. Uh, Kevin O'Connell probably won't ever do it, but I don't know. I don't like opening the doors in the cold weather. Yes, getting uh, advance notice to all the fans, uh, you know, coming in in January uh, that it's going to be cold. But hey, they're also probably going to be wearing their coats unless they took the skyway over or what, what, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, yeah. Hey, if you're cold, buy a team jacket for 200 bucks or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, lower concession prices, that would be ideal. But, you know, uh, the rest of the NFC North, uh, the Lambo checked in at three, which – Again, this is obviously from a media jackal standpoint. Like up in the press box, it's whatever. But I mean, Lambo. I mean, Lambo legitimately smells like piss and high school bleachers. I mean, that, that's what it is. You're sitting on bleacher seats. You're surrounded by Packers fans. Go back, go. Who 
it's like uh it's like when you go tubing down the river during uh, uh during summer it's beautiful uh you, you got a couple cases of beer in the cooler no one stands up to go pee it's exactly what happens at lambo man that's right uh ford field is 14 i always thought the ford field i don't know like like if you watch it on if you watch it on thanksgiving like it always just seems dark and dreary maybe that's because of the team i don't know uh, the Lambeau Field, uh, or excuse me, a uh, Soldier Field, uh, pictured here uh, at, at kickoff, Monday Night Football. Um, you know, Bears fans have better things to do, but that comes in at 23. It, it's not a great state. Like histor- it, it does have like historical significance, which is great since the Bears started playing football in like uh, 1840s. I mean, the, the Bears comprised one of the Union regiments in the Civil War, but mm. – uh, and then, uh, I mean – what really stands out is that the all 22 angle uh, of uh, video from uh, Soldier Field is notoriously just flat and very poopy. But yeah, the rest of AMC North is just still chasing historic U.S. Bank Stadium uh, because all we do is win, 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 no matter what. All we do is win media polls. That's right, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, U.S. Bank Stadium voted the numero uno stadium in the National Football League. Yet again, it's what we do. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.